morning, everyone. Welcome to our chapel this morning. We'll start with an anthem by first and second grade. So I've got a question for you. How many of you have never been to a Disney theme park? Those of you that haven't, do you really want to go to one? Yeah, I think most of us would. So imagine for a second that there's this TV reporter that comes up to you with the camera and everything and informs you that you've won a vacation to a theme park that's like Disney, but better. It's a place where everyone's happy. Everyone has a lot of fun. The food, fantastic. Can't beat it. The rides are exciting. And you can do and go wherever you want. Would you want to go to that theme park? 
I think you'd be pretty excited to go to that. Well, in our Bible reading today, Jesus is going to talk about a day when we're going to go someplace even better than that. Better than the best theme park in the world. It comes from Matthew chapter 5, starting at verse 30. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all his angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered in his presence, and he will separate them one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was lacking clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you a drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or lacking clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? The king said to them, Amen, I tell you, just as you did it for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did it for me. Now Jesus here is talking about Judgment Day. The day when he will return from heaven to separate the believers from the unbelievers, the sheep and the goats. And he will take us believers to heaven. It says, inherit the kingdom prepared for you. That's heaven. He also describes how believers will show their love for him. He says, for I was hungry, you gave me food to eat. Thirsty, you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me in. So when we help others in the way that Jesus describes here, we are showing our love for Jesus. Now, those actions alone don't get us into heaven, but they show that we have faith in Jesus. Those actions flow out of love for him because he loved us first. Now, that theme park we mentioned earlier that was better than Disney, we all seem pretty excited to go there. But which do you think is better? The best theme park in the entire world or heaven? Well, the obvious answer is heaven. The greatest theme park on earth can't compare to the perfection we will experience in heaven. We'll get to be in God's presence forever. Everything will be perfect. There's no more hunger, no more pain, no more sadness, no more sickness. Then I hope we would have the same excitement to go to heaven as we would to go to that theme park. But we have to wait. We have to wait until God says it's time for us to go, until he returns on Judgment Day. It's okay to be excited to go there but it might just take a while for us to get there. Judgment Day will be a very happy day for all of us who believe in Jesus. Because we have that promise of heaven, that perfection, better than anything else that we can find on earth. So let's eagerly await that day. We will continue with our offering.
We'll continue now by singing our hymn for the week, hymn 597. close with prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for being our Savior and for promising that because you died for us, we can go to heaven. We look forward to being there with you someday. Help us be patient as we wait for that day to come. Amen. That's all I have for today. Unless Mr. Meyer have anything else? Those of you that are going hunting, maybe with your moms, dads, families, safe travels, and God bless. Okay. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.